Taupuri te moanga wai kato te awa, te iwi pakiha. Te nakotu katoa, te tangata whenua, te whanga nui atara. Te nakoto te whana wa te wānanga wiketoria. Te nakoto te whana ko Marilyn, te nei ahi ahi. Te nakoto katoa. Thank you um, for this award. It's a very significant honour. Um, I never had enough money to hire the gown and to catch the plane from Hamilton, so I've never graduated from Victoria. So this feels like I finally got there. And this is a very special event to share with you all, and in particular, to share with the people at my table. And I'm going to use some of those <clears throat> long academic social science words as we work my way through my table. And the first is pedagogy. Because my first teacher, my 91-year-old mum, is here, Audrey Waring. <laughs> From being read to, being brought, bought my own blackboard at home, to what I learned watching my mum and my grandmothers about women's lives and all of their unpaid, productive, reproductive work, and what I learned about the dominant economic models, which are still driving us towards the planet's destruction. I learned a lot of that growing up in Taukiri and Naruwahia, and watching my mum and my grandparents. When you come to enrol in a PhD, we start using all those other ology words. So people usually get cross-eyed the first time you do this. So another is called ontology, and we say that's about the nature of things, but it's much more metaphysical. It's about the nature of love and friendship in particular. And that's what I think about the experiences I have had with my friends at this table, some of whom with Lorraine for over 40 years. I manage to do what I do because there are people all around me. Then we talk about epistemologies. How do we know what we know? And we certainly don't know what we know from reading books. And we're less likely to know what we know by reading Wikipedia. But um, how do we know what we know? Tangaloa Tele, Professor Peggy Furbin Dunlop, for more than 30 years, a really gentle guide and teacher. In my work in the Pacific, I think some of the um, photographs were of my work for five years in Ramsey in the Solomon Islands. Um, and you've kept both the Pacific people I've worked with and my students and I safe. And it's been one of the greatest rewards of my academic life to have you as a colleague. Jules, Jules represents my constituents. In 1976, a teacher from out the back of Huntley came to visit me to demonstrate to me that women teachers could not get allowances to, for shifting. And it was Jules' story and the stories of tens of thousands of women that I have heard, and I make one more important thing, I have heard and believed I didn't have to have objective clinical data. I needed their stories. And that has been a phenomenal teacher. And I've sometimes compared my parliamentary experience of, as about eight years of doctoral fieldwork. <laughs> Catherine, Louisa, and Winnie is here somewhere. They're colleagues of a different kind, and not everybody who has been to that place called Parliament 
shares the deeply visceral experience of fighting for our integrity in a very patriarchal machine. Catherine, loads of people will have forgotten, but I will always remember that until Key turned, you were the only National Party member willing to support stopping the assault by adults of children. Jenny Jules Louisa, for all of your roles in achieving marriage equality in New Zealand over so many years. Joy, there's a whole lot of Victoria alumni here, you know. Peggy, Joy, Lorraine, another VUW alumni, producing the Human Rights Commission report on third gender, and now a Privacy Commissioner working for us on the huge challenges that we have with cyberspace intrusion. And Jenny Tucker and Louisa mentioned again, I often say to people that my current job description at AUT University, where I supervise 18 PhDs and two MPhils at the moment, that's what I was brought there to do, and it's like a nirvana in academia. So what I say is these amazing people come in the door with the most tremendous energy and passion for social justice. And we frame up their research. And they go into the world and bring back primary knowledge. And they tell me all about it. And at the end of the week, somebody pays me for it. It's a phenomenal job. Victoria, I graduated from Victoria, but I've never stopped learning and I've never stopped wanting to learn. And along with a degree, that's the gift you gave me. Thank you all. Kia ora rawa atu.